Hey everyone, welcome back to 6.5 on the road. We are in Las Vegas covering Dell Technologies World 2024. Lisa Martin here with Dave Nicholson. Dell is in its AI era and as a Swifty, I love that. I can't say that enough. We're gonna have a great conversation next. We've talked a lot about the, the Dell ecosystem, its partners, what they've been doing for a long time there that's really deep and, and collaborative. We've got two guests with us. Dean Graham joins us from Scalers AI, founder of Fast Tracking Industry Transformation. Delmar Hernandez is here as well, not only celebrating Power Edge's 30th birthday, he's also the senior principal engineer, technical product marketing at Dell Technologies. Guys, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks for having us, really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so what's new? There's, there's gotta be like burning news, Steen, I know. Yeah, well, can I mean, you drop? I don't think we can drop news as compelling as like a, a Swifty, Kelsey rumor or breakup, you know? <laughs> Um, but what we can do is we can we can break some news about the semiconductor Let's industry. Let's do it. I think that's even sexier. You know, a, lo a lot <laughs> of us are you know have been working on generative AI workloads, and you know we're really excited about what we have in the market today. But it's not enough, you know, for the world's demand for the innovation that Gen AI will provide. And so we want to enable choice. And Del Mar and I have been working on you know a ton of newsworthy stuff, including some first in the world lives that were shown here at Dell Tech World on the uh, MI300X processor from you know, AMD, and uh, really excited to work on that. And uh, Delmar, do you wanna share a little bit more about what we've been up to? Yeah, so I I'm the lucky guy that gets to play with the XE9680, right? Like I think if you walk around the show floor, there's, everybody's looking for that server, trying to put hands on it, ah. figure out which GPUs are supported in it. Um, so that is definitely, I think, from my perspective, the star of the show. And we've been spending a lot of time with Scalar's AI recently, uh, seeing what it can do, right? Benchmarking it, developing POCs. Basically, we just hand the, the server over to scalers and like, hey, uh, make this thing shine. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the XC9680 is uh, packed with uh, four of those MI300X uh, GPUs and- Eight. Oh, eight. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I, sorry, yeah. sorry I'm, yeah. I, I don't want to get yelled at that, like, it's afterwards. That, it's I that, got, five, I had it's that 5.30 afternoon, yeah. eight-way yeah. eight <laughs> GPU systems yeah. that we're running, yeah. And uh, we've been able to do a lot of really cool stuff with that. And uh, you know, one thing you're not able to do um, with other GPUs in the market is run a 70 billion parameter model on a, on a single card. And we've done that. And then the other thing um, you're not able to do is run eight 70 billion parameter concurrent instances with Kubernetes on a single node on the XE9680, and we've done that. And another thing you're not able to do is fine tune a 70 billion parameter model um, on a single node, and we've been able to do that. But we didn't stop there. We also, um, thanks to Delmar, we got a, a multi-node implementation running um, and we're connected via Broadcom, Ethernet. And so we've done multi-node fine tuning on that system as well to build custom models. And in this case, we trained on the, the PubMed data set to make a medical specific oh, model wow. cool. on Llama 3. And we compared that side by side performance with the off the shelf Llama 3. And we get uh, great results on questions like MCAT. Uh, questions as well. So showing the promise of fine tuning on that. Um, and then really to take advantage of the MI300X uh, memory footprint, we have a, a first in the world uh, RAG demo, uh, retrieval augmented generation, as you guys all know, and it's a uh, multimodal as well. You know, we've got voice, video, and language inputs, and we got that live on the show floor right now. What do you think? I, mean, I think we should take a victory lap. Like we took a chance. <laughs> yeah. We took a chance doing a live demo, yeah. right? I think yeah. everybody knows when you do a live demo, you you take a you're taking lap. a chance. Without a net. Yes, yes. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong. Yes. And we're, we're day two and it's working. Uh, it, it's drawing crowds. Uh, it's, That's awesome, it's, guys. it's the first live demo I've seen on MI300X, right? We've been, to, we've been to a few shows together. We haven't seen a live demo on this GPU yet. Well, Steen, talk about how you've been able to do that, because you talked about a number of things that have not been able to be accomplished yet, and you said, check, check, check. Yeah, well, I mean, first, I mean, it starts out with, um, you know, AMD and, and Dell's great relationship and getting this platform to market, you know, time to market. I think Dell's foresight on their flagship XC9680 uh, platform as well, and future-proofing that for, for additional GPUs. And then, um, you know, Dell's got a great infrastructure and people like Del Mar that uh, can provision these servers quickly and give access to a team of AI engineers and we can be first in the world to do a lot of great things uh, based on that. So, you know, shout out to the Dell team for putting us in a position uh, to be first and uh, AMD for making a great chip. And, you know, 
all the other support we get from the ecosystem like Broadcom. I mean, Ethernet's a great industry standard that we all have to get behind and you know, off the shelf it works. So we're able to do fast things with trusted technologies like Ethernet as well. So really exciting, uh, exciting stuff. Dave, I'm realizing that we didn't take you to the lab when you were in town. Next time. Remind Next me. time. We're Next gonna, time. We, we're spent give you the... we spent all of our time in the experience lounge. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna give you the grand tour <laughs> and, next time. Uh, I'm looking forward to the grand tour. Yeah. Well you no. must you just must be absolutely thrilled to be at a place where you have you have access to all the toys. You've been playing with playing with the yeah. AMD toys lately, but but with Dell offering up choice, um, you know, whether it's CPU or GPU, XPU, choice. We actually uh, talked to the CEO of CalRay. Uh, earlier today, and uh, they've got a DPU, uh, and Dell embraces it, absolutely, fit for function. So not being hemmed in by uh, someone saying there's only one way to do something, that must must be fun. Now, you specialize. do you specialize in AMD specifically, or do you also work with other CPU, GPU so, stuff? So it's, it's definitely a team, it's not just me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, our team like supports all of our partners, NVIDIA, Intel and AMD, this server supports all three, right? To use Steen words, like we're entering an era of choice, right? Yeah. AMD's coming online, Intel's coming online later this year, later That's this right. year with Gaudi, Gaudi 3. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I mean, we're lucky in that, like we're at the, at the center of all this action, right? Like we're able to deploy these workloads um, on all three GPUs in our lab. I mean, that's another, uh, not to like, take over, like, I don't know where you're going with this, but it another thing. It doesn't matter, okay. I want to know where you're going Let with me, it. Yeah, so, one of the really cool things that we've done with Scalar's AI is we've developed a, a, a software stack that works on NVIDIA, and then we've upgraded that stack to also work on AMD, and we'll probably do that going forward on Intel. And that's the distributed AI stack that Steen mentioned. Yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, I think, you know, for the past uh, year or two, at least innovation has been GPU constrained or AI accelerator constrained, depending on the nomenclature you want to use. <laughs> um, but you know, now we are kind of entering this era of choice. And you can see it like today, uh, Scalar's AI has you know, live demos on Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA in modern enterprise grade RAG architectures. And you know, they're all running great. And they all have incredible attributes associated with each one of them. So it's great to get choice in the market as well. And, and as Delmar said, we've even, um, we even have a fine tuning stack that's heterogeneous insofar as we support multiple GPUs or AI accelerators on that front as well. So. What's been the customer feedback? Sorry, Dave. No, in no, terms yeah, yeah. of you're in your choice era, I'm going to use another Swifty there because I just couldn't. It's right there on the table. Um, but talk about the customer feedback because you're, they want choice. They want to be met where they are. What's been some of the feedback so far in terms of what you guys have been able to do together with the power of the ecosystem? So, so from my perspective, like a, a common question that we receive at Dell is like, does is, is AMD ready for these AI workloads? Does this model run with AMD Rockham? So what we're able to do uh, in collaboration with Scalers is answer that question. And I mean, every time it's yes, right? Like, like, uh, like if you go to Hugging Face, those models, um, we download those, deploy them on on the GPU in our lab, and they work, right? So I think. That, that's one of the most common questions that we're receiving is like, before I buy this expensive server, is, is, is the software going to work? Yeah. So that's, that's a big part of the collaboration with Scalar's AI is answering that question. Let me play Davy Downer for a moment. Uh-oh. Does choice bring with it confusion? Is it, is it enough to say, yeah, we have choice in silicon. Okay, but what about the stack that surrounds it? You may take a software stack, adapt it, to run with other silicon and prove out that it's easy. Um, is the market going to converge in the direction of, of less variation over time, do you think? Or do you think that this will go on into the future with, with folks like Intel and AMD sharing the market with, uh, with the NVIDIAs of the world, or the NVIDIA of the world, I should say? Yeah. What do you think? I, I mean, it is a little confusing today, right? I mean, the, the AMD Instinct is not really out in the market yet. It's coming. Intel Gaudi 3 is coming. So you've got a lot of software developers that have been using CUDA for many years, right? There's millions of lines of code written against CUDA. Um, so it's, it's going to take a little bit of time. But what we found in the, in the software stacks that we built with scalers is, what is there, six, seven key components? And you swap out one or two, and then it works on the new GPU. So it's right? not. A, so I'm simplifying it. Steam can probably deep dive, but it's not an insurmountable problem. No. no, and I think I mean the industry has done a great job of you know 
enabling application level enterprise AI developers, you know, at the framework level, the PyTorch level, you know, and you know, all three, you know, leading companies are, are upstreaming optimizations and working collaboratively with the key frameworks. And um, you know, they all have great collaborations with Hugging Face as well. Um, there is so much innovation right now um, where there are some modern tools that we all love to use that um, you know, the incumbent leader is, is definitely ahead of right now. But um, you know, the, the, everybody's catching up fast. And the thing is, some of those tools you know, we weren't using three months ago, some of those tools were created in the last nine months. And so um, everybody in the industry is moving fast and kind of upstreaming their, their capabilities and optimizations and supporting those latest kind of leading leading software tools that you know we're using as well. So a lot a lot of momentum on that front. Did, you, did, did, did he say incubant? I think yeah. he did. Yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that a real word? Yeah, I think is so. Is it really? So it's, I, I gotta go. I'm gonna <laughs> do this. It's like know. it's like the one who incubated, <laughs> yeah. not incumbent, but or did you just make it up? I probably should have said incumbent. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was like, because if they it's did not, incubate it. If it's too. not a real word, Steen, it is now. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, is now. Were you gonna say that? Yeah, I need to brag a little bit for Steen. He he probably won't do it, but so so you're asking, is it is it confusing, and is is AMD ready for like these popular AI models? Um, we gave Scalar's AI access to a server. I think it was a Friday, right? We give them an IP address. That's how it works. They remote into our lab. Um, I, Saturday, I was getting uh, text messages from Steen, like, "Hey, we've got Llama running. Like, this is less than 24 hours later, Kid right? In Brand a candy new GPU. Store. Yeah. So it's like the these guys are, are, are super familiar with AI and AI software stacks. Um, so they were able to quickly deploy. And I, I just wanted to throw that out there. It was less than 24 hours and they had the latest model running on a brand new GPU. So that, I mean, if what you're saying, I'm not saying if, if it's true, I believe that it's true. That bodes well for choice moving forward. And it's interesting as the world looks in at AI and asks the question, is there a single dominant player that will that will drive everyone out of the industry. It seems like uh, Dell is not going to let that happen. And yeah, yeah. I mean, if, like, I mean, look, if our, no, our portfolio is it's yeah. AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. We're supporting all three equally, right? When you look at the roadmap, considering you were talking about some of the things that have been developed so quickly, tools that weren't there a few months ago, how do you plan the next six to nine months with? problems that are out there that we might not know about until three months from now. I'm sure that's a, that's a challenge for a leader, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you do it well. I just am curious. Well, I mean, the, the, the thing about, you know, software programming in the, in the modern world is, you know, everybody's using modular, containerized, and the layers of abstraction, you know, in the microservice frameworks, you know, you know, become, you know, more and more prevalent today. But if you don't have discipline around microservices, if you don't have discipline around APIs, um, you know, you're really going to have a challenge keeping up because, you know, one day, you know, one vector DB is perfect for a customer or one's embeddings model is number one in the world. Um, and then, you know, you're swapping it out seamlessly. And so creating a highly modular microservices based architecture that we've all practiced for the last half a decade is, you know, the reality today that you, you've got to, you've got to really live off of. And, um, yeah, the, then the other thing is just every day. You know, I mean, there's something new every day, so you have to be, a, you have to love learning. I mean, it's really an incredible time to be in the tech industry today because there's something incredibly new every day. And if you, if you take a day off, you know, like a Saturday off, you might miss something like, uh, <laughs> like getting multi-node fine-tuning up and running on MI300X with uh, Broadcom-based Ethernet. You know, which um, I don't think we've announced that publicly yet. Um, yeah. Have we? We published. We you published a blog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're breaking yeah. news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On six five on the road. Yeah, yeah, and well, I think we'll we'll announce publicly. Uh, or we'll we'll announce publicly in text format later. <laughs> um, you know, a multi you know modal rag that we're demoing live today on MI three hundred X as well. So exciting times for for innovation and. Um, you know, it's a great time because I think everybody's imagination has been unlocked by um, these large language models. But ultimately, for enterprises, they need high fidelity solutions. You know, based on their proprietary business workflows, and uh, they can't take any risk with that. So, the industry is really, you know, stepping up its game with high fidelity RAG, and um, you know, really um, even fortifying that with some more agentic workflows um, to to ensure the you know these. These enterprise grade Gen AI platforms can can transform businesses and give you a high quality outcome um, and keep your proprietary secrets proprietary as well. Yeah. 
So. What's the booth number? For anyone's watching that they want to be able to go and check out what you guys are demoing, you talked about some of these amazing things. Do yeah. you have the number you can share with the audience? Yeah, we, we've got our first in the world, um, uh, you know, MI 300X multimodal rag demo in 933, I think is the AMD booth. 933. And uh, yeah, and we're showcasing some other rag demos on, you know, NVIDIA, of course. Um, in the Dell booth, we got an amazing solution to help uh, IT professionals. So many great IT professionals here and their, their workload's going up because of Gen AI. And yeah. so we want to save them a little bit of time. So we created a, a rag environment that helps them analyze um, log issues on PowerEdge. Um, network issues and app issues. And when they find errors, they can upload those logs and then triage those logs and then auto-generate a, a report for an incident analysis and a root cause analysis. So I want to save those IT managers some time as their workloads just dramatically increasing with Gen AI um, as well. And, You're going to uh, make a lot more friends. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> another live demo. That's yeah. another live demo, by That's the way. another live demo that, that we're running. Um, and uh, yeah. Also, you know, it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be fun if we didn't try our hands at a little robot engineering. Um, <laughs> so, so we do have an autonomous mobile robot running out there uh, as well, trained in the Nvidia Omniverse. So, pretty pretty excited stuff with the Isaac, yeah, a Nova wow. Carter simulation platform. We're we're deploying Nova Carter Live, which is a partnership between Segway and Nvidia on that uh, autonomous mobile robot. So. Ton of cool stuff out there on the show floor. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, ton of innovation in the market. If you're here, guys, check it out. Steen dropped the some of the booth numbers, the partners. It's definitely worth checking out because this is pretty groundbreaking stuff that you're doing in, on a very accelerated pace. We appreciate both of you sharing the partnerships, what's going on, the choice you're enabling for customers to have, and how you answered Downer Dave's question with how it's... Uh, Davey Downer. Davey Downer. What did I say, Downer, Downer Dave? Yeah, that's all right. Either way. Uh, tomato, tomato. Either way. Anyway, guys, we appreciate you sharing your insights. We're going to have to have you back because I feel like we're just peeling one layer of the onion and there's more there. Yeah. Awesome, guys. We thank, we thank you for your insights. Thank you. All right. For our guests and for Dave Nicholson, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching 6.5 On the Road from Las Vegas covering Dell Technologies World 2024. Thanks for watching and bye for now.